Good morning, friends. I am going to start my yogurt in my Instant Pot. And I am using 2% milk. So inside the Instant Pot, there is right there um, marks that says two-thirds full, half full. So I am going to take my milk and I am going to do to that halfway. Almost to the halfway. Because I am going to do half a gallon of milk and it's just rough estimate. I could do the whole thing, but I only want to do half. So now they'll come down here and I will go to my yogurt setting and I'll hit it until it goes to boil. And then I'm just going to put my clear cover on it and it will do the rest. So this will bring it up to that 180 to 185 degree temp that it needs. And then once it hits that, then I'll let it set um, for probably five minutes under that. And then I will go and I will remove it from here, set it on a cloth, and let it cool back down to the temp that's supposed to be at. So this is what I'm doing this morning. And I went out to the garden and grabbed four more um, sugar snap peas. The house is a mess this morning. It's Monday morning. So, anyways, there are the sugar snap peas. So I am going to go back out now and finish my um, smoothie and make another cup of coffee. It rained hard last night, but there's a mosquito in here. See if he'll get out. Mosquitoes are out in the garden today, so. It's like, watch me kill a mosquito that I can't get. There. Oh, I thought we were supposed to be getting more storms today, too, so. my coffee let you look at my dirty floor mm -mm. so my plans today is I have more jam to process and yogurt um, I either need to make bread today or tomorrow. We'll have enough for um, just today. So we'll just see what, what the day brings. But um, other than that, just trying to stay on track. So, but anyways, while I'm waiting for this to brew, I will let you go. But I just wanted to show you the start of the yogurt. Hey friends, so now I'm at the stage of letting it cool off. I've already let this cool off um, about an hour, but it's still not at temperature. It needs to be between 100 and 110 before I add my um, Greek yogurt, two tablespoons. And as you can tell, it's still quite warm. So this can take up to um, a couple of hours, but so I just cover it back up and I go about doing other things and then I check it but I wanted to bring you back for that portion of it. Hey friends. 
friends, happy Monday. Can you believe we're already midway through this month? Good, this sake's alive. So I am sitting down, been busy today. Um, did a batch of cherry jam, redid a batch of cherry jam. Um, the cherry jam we did yesterday did not set up. It was runny. I could have used it for syrups and stuff. But um, I just went on the website of the pectin and told them basically what the trouble was and you can reprocess it if it's within the 24 hours, which it was. So we redid that this morning. Well, actually we did that before lunch and got five pints or five jelly jars, about six ounces of that. And now we just did um, five jelly jars of blueberry jam. I think what I like about the Pomona pectin is because the calcium water that comes with it helps set it up and you can use less sugar. So in the old recipes, you would had to have added like five or six cups of sugar to your, basically a cup of sugar to a cup of berries it seems like. And with this, um, it was five cups of mush berries to, we use one cup of a sugar. So I don't think that's bad at all. So, um, of course you're only using, you know, a tablespoon or two, or you should be only using a table to, table to, have you ever had those days? Tablespoon or two to, to whatever you're using it to. But anyways, um, neither one of us had cherry jam before and tastes like cherries. <laughs> and the blueberry one, um, Jerry goes, tastes like blueberries. But I, I really like the flavor because the blueberry one has um, lemon juice in it too. So, But I still have probably five pounds of blueberries to do. I was going to do the pie filling. And I'm not going to do it right now. I'm resting my um, back and everything from standing up today. Yesterday morning when I was out in the garden, my sciatica, I aggravated it a little bit on my left side. So yesterday I was just down on the couch taking it easy. Um, after I got like two doses of Advil in me, then I was, I was okay to move and stuff. And then today got up and it felt okay. I mean, it's still there. It's not 100% better, but it has gone from the back of the um, sciatica, lower back, you know, around to the front. It's gone from that down to the calf. And um, we've done enough research on it through uh, Bob and Brad <laughs> that when... Um, that's what you want it to do. You want it to um, start going downwards and not going upwards. So that's what it's doing. So um, I did end up taking so ibuprofen about 2 and it's like 4 o'clock. So you would have saw my lunch today. Um, breakfast was my smoothie. And <clears throat> the pressure electric pressure canner I love. <laughs> So it just beeped to let me know that it reached temp and now it will process for 10 minutes. And then once that counts down to the zero, it will beep, I think like two or four times. And I just have to go out there and um, remove the lid. Actually, when it gets down to five minutes, it will, it will let me know. And then I just remove the lid. Once I remove the lid, um, it sets there for the additional five minutes. And then once that is all done, it will beep again to let me know it's done. And I remove the jars, let them set. And then I just hit the button to say it's done. And I am done for the day. The um, pie fillings I'm going to do um, is you take a, um, I'm doing freezer kinds. Um, of course, you can just, you know, 
take your blueberries, your peaches, whatever, and use that and then thaw them. But my thought process is that I thought this was a really neat idea. So I'm taking a quart bag, freezer bag, I'm going to put, because it's just Jerry and I, I'm going to put a cup of whatever fruit, because they're all basically about... So hey guys, this is editing Terry, a hot mess express. It is 20 to 9. I'm talking about the pie filling and um, Jerry um, researched it and everything. And for our six inch pie um, dishes, instead of a nine inch pie dish, what we used was um, two and two thirds cups of blueberries and two-thirds cup of sugar and a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of flour and a dash of cinnamon so um, if you're making the full amount it is um, four cups of blueberries or whatever fruit um, one cup of sugar any sugar um, and two-thirds cup of flour and a dash of cinnamon and so um, I just wanted to insert this and then to make your blueberry pie you're just going to have whatever pie crust that you do if you buy it or you um, make your own you put one in the bottom of it you take out your blueberry mixture and um, you you can dump it in frozen or you can do it thawed but um and then you just put it in put your pie dough on the um pie plate and put the blueberry mixture on top of it put a couple dollops of um softened butter on it I it wouldn't have to be but and then put your other pie crust up on top and then you're going to trim it around crimp it so that it seals it do a little vent style of design whatever up on top and then do um, a, a little bit of um, milk across the top of it um, with a pastry butt brush and sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it and then if I remember right you bake it at four and a quarter for ten four and a quarter for 15 minutes and then you lower it to 350 for 45 but don't go by Miss Terry if you're making a blueberry pie, you look it up. <laughs> if you're going to do peaches, you do everything the same except for in the peach mixture, besides the sugar and the flour, um, do a little dash of cinnamon in it. So, um, but I'm going to do at least four of those for the winter months and um, of that and of peaches, if we get peaches. <sighs> But y'all, our tiny little refrigerator freezer is full. And our other freezer is supposed to be here. It was supposed to be here Wednesday. Now it's going to be here Tuesday. And of course, I won't be able to use it Tuesday. I'll have to wait until at least Wednesday, maybe Thursday. So, And I have sweet cherries and tart cherries that I need to, they are in baggies. I need to um, rinse them off and I'm, I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to put them in a gallon Ziploc baggie, freezer bag, get the air out and I'm going to date it and I'm going to put it in the freezer and that will be used for um, my smoothies. So, But anyways, I just wanted to hop on while I'm waiting for the countdown to happen and um, it's another hot day here. Not as hot as Miss Janet though. Um, but it is our muggiest day today and um, big storms are coming again tonight middle of the night while we're all sleeping um, so we're hoping that we keep our power we're hoping that the storms aren't as bad as they say but they're predicting areas of 70 mile an hour winds and because you know it got so stinking hot today so but then after that then we should start cooling down so they said Wednesday through Saturday should be in the low 70s to low 80s in the 50s in the morning so but anywho I just thought I'd pop on and say hey 
Hope you are doing well on your journey. I am doing the best that I can do. And um, tomorrow is weigh-in Tuesday, and I'm hoping that this taking ibuprofen doesn't retain the fluids. If it does, it's a temporary thing, right? So anyways, stay strong, my friends. I know I always say that, but sometimes you just need that reminder of staying strong and doing the best that you can and don't beat yourself up and you know if you overindulge then try to underindulge sometimes it's easier said than done um, but you don't have to do it all at once you can just do it a little bit out at a time I know for me when I start to snack all the time and I get the sweets in my body I, that's all I want and um, you know I can't go cold turkey I gotta I gotta slowly chip it away so but anyways better let you go because probably 10 minutes is getting close I've been talking to you for that long so I will chit chat with y'all later thanks my friends